So happening today, environmental advocates and local leaders are taking a look at federal action dealing with PFAS, a dangerous, toxic chemical that you're exposed to every day. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is live in Windsor this morning where contamination has been an issue following a chemical spill in the Farmington River. Carolina. Good morning. Well, that meeting that will be held later this morning here will include U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal and the senator. He proposed legislation that would set guidelines for PFAS or that type of foam. The U.S. Senate is getting involved in the conversation dealing with PFAS. It came roughly after 40,000 gallons of water and PFAS foam stored at Bradley International Airport leaked into the Farmington River. State officials initially warned people not to eat fish caught in the area, but later said there wasn't a major safety concern. The issue of PFAS was last seen in our state in Willimantic and Greenwich when the chemical was detected in private drinking water wells there. Environmental advocates and local leaders are now fighting for long-term PFAS regulation. The chemical is known to cause cancer and have developmental effects in infants. Senator Blumenthal wants to set standards for PFAS in drinking water, ban forms of PFAS that are highly toxic, and establish guidelines on safe cleanup and disposal. The U.S. Senate recently passed a number of measures tackling this issue. It doesn't take a spill like the one that happened here in the Farmington River for you to be exposed to PFAS. It's in our everyday items such as nonstick cookware as well as items like hiking boots. And it's the long-term exposure effects that has these advocates and Senator Blumenthal concerned. Again, that meeting will be held here at the Windsor Boat Ramp at 11. For now reporting in Windsor, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.